случаем. Хочу сказать большое спасибо. Russian rock star Yuri Shevchuk was one of several cultural leaders invited to meet with Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin. Long known as an outspoken opponent of the Kremlin, Shevchuk seized the day. He charged that Russia is ruled by a privileged class of dukes, its press freedom non-existent, and demonstrations broken up by repressive security services. All that face to face with arguably the most powerful man in the country. Mr. Putin responded and asked Chevchuk not to turn the meeting into a bazaar. The country has no future without a normal democratic development. It's obvious, because only in a free society a person can realize himself and then develop the country, science, production on the highest standards. If this doesn't happen, then everything stagnates. But the second most important thing is that everyone must follow the law. Russian TV did not broadcast Yuri Shevchuk's questions, only Mr. Putin's answers. Neither did it show events that followed later. When 1,500 people gathered in Moscow's central square to express their disagreement with government policies. Police broke up the rally 20 minutes after it began and arrested 150 protesters, including blogger Ilya Yashin, who says the Internet is the only way for Russian opposition parties and movements to be heard. The Internet has a unique meaning for us. It's the last line of defense for freedom of speech in the country. People have no way of getting their political word out on television. Russian TV does not have any live political broadcast. And the capacity of newspapers is limited. So the Internet and the blogosphere have been developing very rapidly in recent years. Yashin says he expects more protests in the months leading up to elections next year, when voters choose a new parliament and president. President. But Masha Lipman from the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace in Moscow says she does not expect the protests will lead to significant changes in the Kremlin. This is not something that can affect politics at this point. This is not part of the political process. The political process is very tightly controlled and the entry to the political stage is very tightly uh, uh, filtered and controlled by the Kremlin. But the public mood, I think the word is mood here, is changing and there is more of this crumbling and discontent. There is widespread speculation that Vladimir Putin will again run for president in the 2012 elections. A recent poll in Russia shows that both Mr. Putin and President Dmitry Medvedev enjoy approval ratings that any leader could envy, 80% and 77% respectively. Meanwhile, the number of Russians with access to the Internet is now at 37% and growing. Anya Daiva for VOA News, Moscow.